I've got a good view of him and I've got a good view of an elephant moving in the background and I must just say while you don't get the best view on foot you certainly get the greatest uh, thrill of being on foot with them and the smile on Herbert's face after he traipsed this area flat this morning coming up with nothing was a uh, well nothing short of miraculous how wonderful that the day has turned out like this and after all our efforts I'm really glad the Wild Earth crew managed to find him, specifically Herbie of course, but the grin on Jamie's face was about the same size as that of the one on Herbert's. Isn't he wonderful? What a stroke of luck we've had. And there is an elephant just grazing in the background. I can't see it at the moment. And I think, I suspect, you know, that he was only moving. Oh, there's the elephant. Well spotted, Fergus. I think he was only moving because he got a fright from the extremely intimidating figure that is Jamie Patterson. Now, Denny, Jenny, you are perhaps a new viewer and you say, is this lion part of a pride? He's not part of a pride and Jenny, no lion is part of a pride. No male lion is part of a pride. They are not extra to the pride. So the pride structure is the females and the youngsters and the males either are on their own and will normally, when they're about his age, he's almost six now, probably is six already, they will dominate a pride or two, but he is part of a coalition of four males called the Birmingham Boys. And the Birmingham Boys are a group of four males that dominate the Styx Pride, which is the one pride that we see, the Nkahuma Pride, the other pride, and perhaps even the Torchwood Pride, which goes off to the east of where we are. We don't see them very often. They go into Kruger. So they spend actually very little time in the pride. Well, David, I'm not sure I agree with you. You say he's got a very clean face for a wild lion. I think he's got quite a few scratches that bear testament to the many fights he's had. Now, the four males are named as follows. Ntsuko, Tinyo, Nena, and Mfumo. And... Uh, I'm embarrassed to tell you that it's been so long since I've seen them that I'm not sure who this is. I can tell you it's not Tinio, the tooth, because his both his lips are perfectly intact. And it is Nena, that's right. Nena, the warrior, and I think he's obvious because of that equals shaped scar patching on his nose. I think that's a good way of telling. Obviously those will change over time, but that's who this is. Well done. Thank you, everybody, for helping me with that. It's marvellous. And so he will be extra to his coalition from time to time. He'll spend time on his own. He'll go from pride to pride. He'll join up with his brothers every so often. They were together about probably four or five days ago on Biffle's Hook, which is the property to the north of us, all four of them together. That's unusual these days. Now there's an elephant, that elephant is watching him. Elephant knows that he's there. An elephant is intolerant of lions. And the lion knows that he can get away from the elephant if he has to. But an elephant is the ultimate authority out here. And they do not put up with the gangsterism exhibited by, well, what I like to consider the Al Capone of the bush as opposed to the king of the jungle. Oh, yes, the quintessential yawn. He's very weary of that elephant. The elephant is close now. I'm not sure the elephant is actually aware of him. It's a young bull. And it, he's unlikely to be completely alone at that age. I suspect there will be a few more around here. But I think his relaxed kind of back-turned nature indicates that he's perhaps not convinced or certainly not completely aware of the lion that he has here. And he's 
conditions will lift. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he hasn't got a herd wandering around here somewhere. Now, Robin, age 12, you can answer this question yourself. If you watched carefully the way the lion reacted when that elephant looked like he was coming this way, you say, would he eat the elephant? They absolutely do eat elephants, but you can see from the way he's looking at the elephant, he's nervous of him. The elephant is so big that on his own, there's no chance that this lion would be able to kill him. But a big group of males and a young bull like that in an area where perhaps there'd been a big drought and there wasn't much for the elephant to eat and so he'd become weak and feeble, well, then it would be possible for a male lion like this to have elephant for supper. But uh, normally they're just very nervous of them, especially if there's a herd around. And so why I say you could have told that, you're, well, I mean, with a bit of experience, you can tell that immediately. It was because he was looking at that elephant with not a kind of cat-like uh, interest in something to eat, but a cat-like fear of perhaps something that might eat him. Or not eat him, but certainly do him some damage. Elephants don't eat, uh, don't eat lions, Ferg. Sid, you've been watching some lions, of course, I think with Brent today. Did we see lions with Brent? He saw just about everything else. Um, you say, is there a difference between the East African and Southern African virgins? There used to be a, a thought that they should be separated into separate subspecies. They are definitely the same species. And morphologically, in other words, you know, how they look, there's very little difference at all. I do not think that they are bigger or smaller than the East African versions of the lions. Um, and I, I think there's quite a lot of debate over whether or not they should be considered a separate subspecies. I think some think they should, and some perhaps think they shouldn't. But the uh, machinations of the scientists, I'm going to leave to them. But essentially they're the same thing. Isn't he wonderful? And he, I'm telling you now, the only reason we've had this great view of him is because Jamie and Herbert woke him up, thankfully. Otherwise, we'd be staring at what is termed a flat cat, which is no one's favorite activity in the world. Least of all, a cameraman. Cameraman is not a fan of a flat cat, are you? <laughs> 